Good evening everyone, I hope you're well. Natalie here again um, on day two. I just want, before I kind of share how I've been getting on the past couple of days, is just to thank so many of you for your messages. So many of you guys private messaged me or text me after my video yesterday and I'm so glad that, that it helped so many of you because I think sometimes we sit in our house and we just feel we're the only ones that feel that way and it's, it gives you kind of like reassurance that you're not the only one who um, definitely has that kind of Christmas slump. Um, but it can happen, you know, all throughout the year and it might not be for, for weight loss or weight gain, it could be for, for anything. So know that you're you're not alone, whatever it is that, that you're going through. So a huge thank you to everyone for just being so um so lovely to me yesterday um when I did my live video because it was it was really hard to share um and I'm so glad that, that it gave value to, to a lot of you out there. So this post was so money was named sorry so much temptation. So I was in Asda today, and literally as you walk down the aisles, it's bread, cakes, chocolate, fizzy juice, like everything is just everywhere, and you're just like, oh my goodness when you're on your first couple of days and your body's obviously still addicted to the sugar, addicted to the salt and all that kind of stuff, you're just craving um all of these bad things and it's so hard when you're out and about because all you're bombarded with is really, really unhealthy foods everywhere. I mean, even in the hospital, actually, I listened to the radio this morning, even in the hospital, what they've got is vending machines with chocolate and fizzy juice, and it's insane. Um, and also Kenny made me buy him Coca-Cola for himself, <laughs> so that was in the house today as well. But what I actually do to help me... Um, avoid the temptation is on a Sunday I plan my meals, what I'm going to have for my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner, etc, my snacks I write my shopping list and I just buy what I need and I actually avoid the aisles that I don't need to go down and it's quite interesting because I probably go down maybe a third of the aisles in the shopping when I physically go shopping rather than doing it online, which I kind of do now with having Isaac. But when I do physically go shopping, I literally go in about three of the aisles because the rest of them are just filled with junk, sugar, additives and things like that. So it's really just quite interesting. Um, but how I'm feeling, I've had a few headaches the past couple of days. Um, well, it has only been two days, so <laughs> it is a couple of days. Um, but yeah, I've had some headaches from the sugar come down. And it just shows like how much my body's been addicted to sugar and coke and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so we're doing well. Today I made some suckering bread, I think it's called. It's got hemp seeds and chia seeds in it. Um, and it was actually really nice. So I'll post a picture about that with some sweet potato soup, um, deliciously Ella recipe that was, and been taking all my probiotics and prebiotics to keep my gut nice and healthy um, as well. So just checking in, um, thank you so much, lots of you joined on here today, um, yeah, loads of you, great, good to see you. Um, so yeah, just wanted to share with you my journey, it keeps me accountable to you guys that I don't cheat and take in a Kenny's Coca-Cola that he's got in there um, and hopefully inspire you guys along the way as well as I go on this new journey. And I've also been really good with my vegan thing that I'm doing, a vegan thing, um, going vegan as well. I actually haven't missed meat. So tonight I had um, sweet potato soup, as I said, with uh, avocado on that sucre and toast. I was planning on making a quinoa salad, but I didn't have time with like, different things going on in the house and Isaac been teething and stuff but yeah so being prepared also helps um as well thanks Lynn have you as well Cheryl yeah the headaches honestly it's right here in my temples that's where I get the the sugar come down headaches so um if you are kind of on a health kick as well know that having that headache is, is normal um doesn't help when you get a crying baby as well <laughs> it's all a bit crazy when babies are teething and um got reflux and stuff but we're getting there so yeah, hope you're all having a great day and taking one step towards your health today, whether it's just choosing that apple rather than a pack of crisps. If you've not read the book called The Slight Edge, I highly recommend that you read it. It's all about all those simple daily choices we make take us on the path of success, or if you make the wrong choices, it takes you on the, the kind of failure curve, if you like. So um, yeah, read that book. Let's stay on the success curve, all of us. Your health is so important. It's the most important thing that you've got to be there for your friends and family. So have a great evening and speak to you tomorrow. Bye.